Remnant 2 is out. People are absolutely raving about this game. About the build crafting, the boss fights, the dungeons, the character classes, and more. Some are even saying it's a game of the year contender. And of course, there's the tried and true, it's a destiny killer statement, making its annual comeback. But at the root of that statement is a valid question, and that's, if I love Destiny, but I want a different game to dump some time into, is Remnant a good alternative? So we'll try to answer both of those questions in this video. If you fire up Remnant 2, there's a lot of things that you'll need to do before you can go feel the warm embrace of Space Witch Mommy. That includes enduring a slow and clunky tutorial mission complete with rough dialogue writing, this guy who thankfully isn't a doctor because he thinks water cures everything. Whoa, whoa, let me get you some water. Uh, just a headache. Hey, hey, Clementine, uh, let me get you some water. And your protagonist is strikingly devoid of character. Even while his friend is offering some heartfelt final words, he just sort of like stares at her. You were a good friend. But once you get through all of that, you'll end up where the game shines, and that's the combat and looting cadence. But right out of the gate, let me tell you that this game has very little in common with Destiny. Destiny is a casual live service game that you can log into daily and go down your routine checklist, listen to music in the background, maybe even play with one hand. It's pretty low-key. Remnant 2 is not that. If you treat Remnant 2 with the same casual flippancy that you do Destiny daily activities, then you're gonna die. A lot. I mean, a lot, a lot. Remnant 2 is more akin to a Souls-like game in many regards. Yeah, you have a subclass, kind of, and yeah, you have guns, but this isn't an FPS casual looter shooter. Every enemy has the potential to whittle down your valuable resources, like your healing and prime abilities, and leave you with nothing in the tank when you make it to a challenging fight. You won't be sprinting, you'll be crawling through dungeons, and unlike Destiny, each boss is going to be more than a health bar, they're going to have mechanics and punishing movesets that you'll need to learn and understand and learn how to predict. You'll need to analyze tells, both physical and audio cues, that tip the enemy's next play. As far as Destiny similarities go, there is one thing that you may like if you're a Destiny enthusiast, and that's that Remnant 2 is fully co-op and supports up to three players. For my core group of four friends, that's rather unfortunate, but otherwise, I'm told the co-op is a great way to play. So far, I have only done solo though. Otherwise, the similarities are limited to only those things that all looters have in common, and that's a screen where you can inspect and equip your gear, including your armor, weapons, various artifacts and jewelry that increase your stats. You'll have to level up that class of your choosing, and then you'll open up new mixing and matching options. Also, your path is not predetermined. You may end up exploring a biome right out of the gate that your buddy eight hours in hasn't seen yet. And that makes for some interesting variety between characters and playthroughs. A combatant that you might learn to fight easily in your first few hours of gaming may end up being a high ranking enemy for me that I have to deal with 12 hours into my run. But Remnant's gameplay is really punctuated with boss encounters. You'll stumble onto new bosses, you'll die a bunch while you try to figure them out, eventually defeat them after making some changes to your build to accommodate for the challenges this new boss presents, and then you'll take a totem from your kill and go back to your base and craft a nifty weapon mod to use some of the boss's abilities against your foes. It's pretty rewarding to drop one of these bosses and turn their death into new power. I really dig that cycle. So ultimately, where does that leave us? Is this game the destiny killer? Does it have enough draw on destiny lovers to break their addiction and pull them into a new game for a while? Honestly, the only thing that can kill Destiny at this point is Destiny. They've got such a strong hold on their dedicated player base that they'll be back in no time after a short break here and there for the most part. Bungie does a great job at pulling people back with big expansions, alternated with new daily and weekly activities to get involved with during their seasonal content drops, and Remnant is not at all the same vibe as Destiny. It's much more imposing and the spaces have a weight to them where Destiny has levity and lightheartedness. Remnant also won't be something that you're coming back to month after month after month, year after year. That's not its purpose. Sure, some dedicated players and enthusiasts will do multiple playthroughs and perfect new builds and take on new difficulty challenges, but most players will get through the game and move on, I assume. So no, Remnant isn't a Destiny killer, but it's no surprise to me that so many Destiny lovers are capitalizing on the downtime in that game to come over and smack some bosses around in Remnant 2. 
I'm sure many Destiny lovers will also find this game challenging and addicting for a while, and that's awesome. I hope you enjoyed this video, especially if you haven't looked into Remnant much or played it yourself. I hope you understand what the game has to offer a little bit better now. Be warm and well fed, my friends, and I hope to catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.